Stevenson now showing a record of 240 wins and 12 losses. And he comes into the ring surprisingly lean, at least to me, because when I saw him in February, he was pretty heavy. He was disqualified from a tournament in late March in East Germany against the heavyweight Uli Kadin. So Stevenson has been very quiet for a year and in his first major outing was disqualified and lost the bout. Damiani looks almost portly compared to Stevenson as they begin their action of three three-minute rounds using eight-ounce gloves. Stevenson standing just over 6'4", a big man. It'll be interesting to see whether or not the foot speed is still there, whether the power of the right hand is still there. Damiani scores with a pretty good right hand to the side of Stevenson's head. One would expect that Damiani will take the fight to Stevenson, especially early, until he possibly is hurt by the power of Stevenson. Teo trying to dig to the body there, and it was picked off by the elbow of the Italian heavyweight. Hard right hand to the side of Stevenson's head, and he sags back into the ropes for a moment. Rick! The referee is from Ghana. The judges for this bout, the referee having no ballot, are from Ivory Coast, Norway, United States, Eddie Urbeck, Venezuela, and the Philippines. Both men still looking, still feeling, still searching for the way to go at it. Stevenson digging the right to the body. And Damiani ties it. Comes over the top with the right hand. Stevenson is rather difficult to hit with the left hook. He has always been difficult to hit with the left hand as he generally has the right well up. He is also a very patient boxer, knowing full well he has the power to knock any man down. Damiani hooking the left, just missed with it, with a record of 50 and 7. The big Italian. Good right hand by Damiani. Damiani has landed the cleaner blows and the greater number of them here in this first round. Good stiff left jab by Damiani. Stevenson's pattern pretty much as we have known it through the years. Damiani looking when they get in close to tie him up and nullify the power of Stevenson. The right always cocked. Digs to the body one more time. But in the first round, Damiana the Italian landed the greater number of punches. Round two, super heavyweights. Teofilo Stevenson in all white. Francesco Damiani of Italy in the blue shirt, the blue front. In the first round, Damiani had the greater number of punches and the greater accuracy. And he just tagged Stevenson right there in the face with a stiff left hand. The referee from Ghana. He apparently is not going to let them do much infighting. I don't know which man that might affect more. Stevenson looked like he wanted to go to the Italian's body in the first round. He'd have to be in close to do that. On the other hand, it might work to the Italian's advantage if, in fact, Teo Stevenson is weak from a rather heavy loss of weight, I am sure, since we saw him in February in Havana. The right hand comes over the top by Damiani and gets to the side of the face of Teo Stevenson. Stevenson digs hard to the body, and you heard the grunt from Damiani. The right hand by the Italian goes to the forehead of Stevenson with force. Stevenson short with his right over the top. The biggest crowd of the tournament so far. That is the magic of Teofilo Stevenson all over the world. People come to see the big man. And again, Damiani comes over the top of the right hand to the side of the face of Teo Stevenson. Italian referee backing him up. He does not want him, apparently, to mill inside. The right hand by Damiani misses. Stevenson hits him on the forehead with a short right. Not a whole lot of force in it, but that right hand by Stevenson is wild around the back of the neck. 
Damiani comes across with a good solid right hand and hooks the left. And he stabs Stevenson in the face with another left hand. And Stevenson right now looks a bit concerned. He looks befuddled a little bit by the power of the big Italian heavyweight. And as I told you, Damiani didn't just show up for the tournament. He won the 1981 European Championships and is a three-time Italian national champion. And he goes hard to the head with three solid blows and hooks another solid left hand and comes over the top of the right as he pins Stevenson in the corner. This is the second round. The admonishment there to the Cuban corner and then to the Italian corner. No coaching by the referee. Amartya Phil of Ghana. He's trying to keep him separated. And again, Stevenson goes back into the corner. And again, Damiani bangs away at his head. Nothing there as they tie up on the ropes. But Teofilo Stevenson is not handling the big Italian. Stiff right hand by Damiani as the referee was trying to get them apart. There's a big right hand by Damiani. A left hand. Another right by the Italian. Stevenson back in the corner. And they're tied up. Three solid blows by Francesco Damiani. He looks up to the clock to see how much time is left here in round number two. Using his weight, leaning on Stevenson, forcing him back across the ring. Utterly in command of the fight here in the second round. He is not intimidated at all. So Francesco Damiani taking the fight to Teofilo Stevenson in round number two. Are they about to see one of the world's stunning upsets? Who is this guy, Damiani? As we told you, 24 years of age from Banya Cavallo, three-time national champion. And he says this, that watching Stevenson win the 1976 Olympic Games triggered his primary interest in serious boxing. His brother had tried to sell him. He didn't like it early. You see the mark underneath the right eye of Teo Stevenson in the corner. Alcides Zagara out in the ring with him, talking to him. Stevenson looks to me like he is tired they're trying to shake fatigue out of his arms they are concerned Stevenson is concerned Damiani has come in and just absolutely taken the fight to Teofilo Stevenson and now we go to round number three and no question about it Damiani is leading in this fight But the big question now in the minds of everybody, certainly me included, is whether or not Stevenson can land the big punch as he has so many times before. He tried there and he missed with it. There's a sharp uppercut by Stevenson. But Damiani is in close on him and he couldn't get leverage on it. He's digging to the body, but the Italian nullifies that by crowding him into the corner. It appeared at the end of the second round, both men had tired. Now it appears that Damiani may be the more tired of the two. Both men missing with right hand. Stevenson coming over the top with his right, misses again. On the break, Damiani with an overhand right. And he catches Stevenson flush on the jaw with it. And the Ghanaian referee admonishes him. Stevenson's right hand, wild again. He has not been able to land the big right to the head. All the fights that we have seen so far in this world tournament, I think the crowd is more up and into this one than any we have seen. And why not? The most dominant amateur heavyweight in boxing history right now is in serious trouble at the halfway point of the final round. And the Ghanaian referee is very much involved in the fight. Almost to the point of disrupting the flow of it. Damiani, a left hand to the face of Stevenson. A right hand by Damiani. A left hand by the Italian.
Stevenson loading the right, looking to land it. And so far, the big Italian has refused to give him the opportunity. Damiani goes to the body with the left of the head, followed for right to the head by Damiani. Another right and another left, and another left by Damiani. Tired he may be, but he is taking the fight to Teo Stevenson with a minute to go in the fight. Again, Stevenson's right hand just misses. An overhand right by Damiani flush on the jaw of Teofilo Stevenson. And he pounds Stevenson on the ropes. And Stevenson is tired. His face is marked by the heavy blows from Damiani. A mouse under his right eye. He looks arm weary. He looks leg weary. Damiani with another big right hand to the side of the head. Stevenson is back in the ropes. His punches have no snap. Damiani looks dead tired, but he comes storming back. Stevenson looks even more tired. We're in the final seconds of the round. This may be one of the big upsets of this tournament. The crowd roaring, Damiani almost collapsing as his coaches come to the ring ropes to help him get to the corner. Stevenson shaking his head, not satisfied with the performance. We'll have the decision for you in just Decision, super heavyweight bout between Teofilo Stevenson, Cuba, Francesco Damiani of Italy. Your winner on point by 5-0. Oh. It's Damiani! 5-0, winning on all scorecards. Ivory Coast judge, 59-58. Norway, 60-57. USA, 59-57. Venezuela, 59-58. And the Philippine judge, 60-57. How about that? The happiest young man on the face of this earth right now, Francesco Damiani. Do we have another Rocky? That happened last Tuesday. And then later in the week, we had a chance to talk to the two fighters. First, Francesco Damiani. Francesco's English is limited. Aldo Mazzucco, an Italian journalist, will help us with the conversation. And the first question, what were the thoughts after the great victory? Come ti sentivi, hai detto dopo che hai avuto questa vittoria così importante? Beh, certamente molto felice perché è un, è un incontro che ho sentito molto e certamente vincerlo è stata per me una grossa soddisfazione. It's not, was a big, big satisfaction because he, he has prepared, he had a long preparation for and he could not realize he's going to win. It appeared that uh, Francesco tired some in the third round. Was he tired when it was done? Ha detto che nella terza ripresa era piuttosto stanco. Era sì, stanco. Beh, sì, sì. He beh, was really tired because he has to force so much in the third bravo, round. Diciamo because also Stevenson è... was Stevenson. certainly tired, but sì, he, he tried anyway to knock him out. Now the loser. And for Teofilo Stevenson, this is a rare experience. He has not been interviewed very many times as a loser. Assisting us in our conversation with him, Hector Kosilian, ABC videotape engineer on location with us here in Munich as the interpreter. And the first question to Teofilo Stevenson. Will he continue in boxing and work his way toward the 1984 Olympic Games in Los Angeles? Okay, he said he, he will go for the 1984 championship again in LA. And he didn't feel that he, the Italian, won. He felt more than anything else that he lost. He wasn't well prepared, apparently. Let me ask, did you lose a lot of weight between when I saw you in February in Havana and today? Did you lose a lot of weight? Tú has perdido mucho peso desde que te vimos la última vez en La Habana y hoy? Sí, yo bajé de bajé un poco de peso. ¿Cuánto? He perdido unas cuantas libras. He perdido alrededor de, de 30 libras. Yes, he lost approximately around 30 pounds. That's all. Because I had seen him, he looked comfortable in February, and he looked very sweet. Well, we wish him the very best, and we look forward to seeing him again in the Olympic Games of 1984 in Los Angeles. Teofilo, deseamos 
mucha suerte y esperamos verte nuevamente en las Olimpiadas de 1984 en Los Ángeles. Está bien. Muchas, Muchas gracias. 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 The dressing room, his home coach George Washington with him. That last moment of tension before the walk to the ring. Earlier this week, Mark and uh, teammate Iran Barkley, middleweight, had places of honor at a birthday party at the U.S. Army installation here in Munich. Freeland 19 last Tuesday, Barkley 22 last Sunday. After eating, everybody had a robust singing of happy birthday, led by Jack Harris and Mal Kennedy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. there were a lot of big wishes that went along when these two young boxers stood up to blow out the candle and cut the cake. And then Dennis Milton, 156 pounder, and